Hello everyone, welcome again to our show. Today we'll be discussing about our flight from uh, Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Denifa International Airport in Colorado, USA via German Frankfurt International Airport. So immediately we received our passports and the visas plus the alien numbers, the next thing that we did was to book and pay for our green card. So we paid for our green card. It was uh, like uh, $220 uh, each. So five of us, we paid like uh, 220 times five, is like we paid like uh, $110, something like that. But it was in terms of Kenya shillings, they convert it through your bank. We paid using our debit visa card, but at an extra cost. We informed our host, and remember this was our second host, the first host who gave us our, uh, the documents for the visa interview for I from I-134. Uh, it's not the one that we went to. So we had changed our host after the interview. So we agreed that we go online, look for cheaper airline, the United States, with few stopovers because of the kids. If we picked the one with more stopovers, the kids will get tired. So we picked the one with one stopover at German, Frankfurt, and then from there we connect to the United States. That's why, that's how we landed at Lufthansa Airline. So when you book for this plane or flight, they always ask you, how many adults are traveling? So we say two adults, then two between the age of five and 11. Then we also told them that we have a, a, a small baby less than one year. So all those information will assist them nowhere and the seats that they will give you. More especially for those ones with uh, small babies, less than one year or below two years, they always consider a lot of things because they have to look for a belt. It's a belt that you will be provided with to assist you carry the baby in the plane. Also, they will have the seats that are close to the partitioning of the, the plane where they will put something like a bed, a small bed or a lock where you will put the baby when she is asleep or when he is asleep. So those are the things they always consider when they ask you the ages of the kids who are traveling. And also they prepare in advance the kind of meals or food the baby will be provided with while these others will be given their own meals. So that's why it is important for them and you to inform you the number and the type of passengers that you are traveling with. So after that, we booked Lufthansa for the date of uh, 10th, 10th of April. Then by 9th April, we were in Nairobi, we slept there and then uh, Tent around uh, our flight was at 11 45 so by 10 we were in, uh, in the airport then we went to the security checkups after that we were directed according to the airlines that you booked and your destination so for those ones with uh, traveling with uh, uh, Lufthansa, you are pu put in a given area, and then those ones who are traveling with uh, maybe United Emirates, Qatar Airlines, different sections, then you start going with your luggages, they look at your luggages, where your luggages, your luggage bags, then uh, they check them. After that, they look at your passports and where you are traveling to, and during that time, it was time of COVID, uh, COVID certificate was a must. So that's one of the things they look at before even they start checking you in the system. After a while, we were cleared and then we were put in a waiting area where we were 
to wait for our plane to come. When it came, we entered, we were ushered in, we were shown our seats, and after a while, we were airborne. When you are up there in the sky, there is no network. Then after like six hours, we landed in a, a German Frankfurt airport. We also went through security checks. We were cleared. And after a while, we were through. Then we also put on a waiting bay for a layoff of six hours. That's why we spend a lot of time. The 23 and a half hours that I say that we used, six of them were just idle hours waiting for the connecting plane from German to Denver International Airport, USA. Here, the advantage at these international airports, the Wi-Fi is free. There is free Wi-Fi where you can lo uh, connect and you do what? Communicate to your, with your relatives or your host or your friends because you will be on roaming. When you are on roaming, you have the network on your phone, but you cannot call because it requires a lot of money for you to call home. So, but because of this Wi-Fi, we notified our host that we are in German, we are on a layoff of six hours, then we calculate the time that we will start and arrive in the United States, so that it can also come and pick us from the airport. And also the good thing at the airport, there are uh, charging points where you can charge your phones and uh, you will not suffer that you, you are running out of power. So after six hours, we were able to now board another plane to the United States. In the, this time, we used the United Airlines from German to USA. We also took like, uh, I think it was like seven hours. So I am not sure how much it was, but like seven to eight hours. And then after that, we were... Uh, uh, in Denver International Airport. Here we also, before the plane lands, you are given a form where you declare the items that you are bringing to the United States. For us, because we were new, we declared everything. We had carried some seeds. We had carried some fried chicken. We had carried so many other things to the United States. So when we, we landed, we were directed to two different gates where we also formed queues. There is a gate for the citizens and the gate for the non-citizen. So for the non-citizens, you got the non-citizen gate. The citizens go to their gate again. Here we, we were received. Then we were told, welcome to America. Give us your passports. They looked at our passports. They asked about the brown envelope, as I always tell you. Then they opened the brown envelope. They let uh, let out the content in, and then uh, the the immigration officer at the port of entry was so kind. Then he said, "Good, everything is here. So you also take. <coughs> they will always take." Uh, a picture of each, a passport of each of you using their camera. Then after that, we were cleared. Uh, the parents are given DV1, then DV, DV2. The principal applicant DV1, the spouse is DV2. All the kids are given a stamp on their passport as DV3, DV3, all of them. Then after that, you are told to, to move to the next step where you will go uh, to pick your luggage bags. After you pick your luggage bags, you put them also in a machine where they will be scanned and there will be officers looking at the scanner. And looking at the declaration form, they will always ask you, where are those seats that you declared? Then we told them they're in the bag and then they removed them. They said that these ones are not allowed in the United States. So he said, it's okay. Then we were cleared. After that, we moved now uh, out of that uh, security zone to another way, uh, waiting bay where you'll be waiting for your host. Here also there's free network. 
So we call the host, informing him that we have been cleared and now we are at this and specific point. And the airports are given in terms of the sections are divided in terms of sections as wings. So those ones who traveled with the United Emirates or Lufthansa, you will be told go to this wing, sign that your host or whoever is going to come and pick you will be able to get you so easily. So that's how easy it's. Uh, arrangements are made at the airport because the airport is so big this person coming to pick you cannot move all over the airport looking for you so you will go to the planes, the sections of the planes those uh, you traveled with that is the time they will be able to get you also on your plane or ticket it's indicated the gate the, the entry and the departure gate where you will be received so you Tell them get C, get B, get whatever, depending on what is on your uh, ticket. So later on, around 4 p.m. American time, our guy came, picked us from the airport, and then we went to his house. So guys, that's how we traveled from JKIA to Benifa International Airport using Lufthansa Airline. And then we connected later using United Airlines to, to, uh, to America. So I don't know how your experience will be when you'll be traveling. But in short, most of uh, <coughs> the flights from Africa, especially Kenya, uh, we don't have direct flights to the United States. You can either have... Uh, connections to German, connection to Turkey, connection to UK, Netherlands, and then the like. Then from there you connect to the United States. You can also have uh, flights with three stopover or four, depending on how you picked the flight and the, the plane that you'll be using. So it's advisable. If you are traveling with a family, you take a flights which have got minimal stopover and the minimal lay of time so that the kids will not get tired and give you trouble so that's my advice and that's our experience and that's how it went see you in our next video and for those ones who are watching for the first time please consider subscribing to our youtube channel by so doing will you make youtube share our video or read as so many other viewers. Thank you and may God bless you all for watching our videos. Thank you.